Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and this is a fan-requested profile from Adonis M. Awesome, thanks for the update. What about Rodney? Yes, what about Rodney? Adonis M. requested this profile on Rodney St. Cloud quite a while ago, and I have a stack of requests a mile high, and I do get to them eventually. Rodney was born in Brooklyn, New York, back in 1973, stood 5 feet 9 inches, and weighed around 240 pounds in his prime. He was a good all-around bodybuilder, as you can see. This is probably his best pose, the side chest, really booming in that chest department, two big barrels. Good little most muscular here, not too huge, but very compact, and the, the chest is very three-dimensional, I must say. Here he is in the front lat spread, but not very appropriately. Uh, it's not taken from the front. Oh, who am I kidding? He was an exotic dancer. But wait, but wait, but wait. He uh, was also a fireman. So he kind of used this in his routine, I am sure. This is a posing routine, but he was a male dancer. So I'm sure he dressed up as a fireman as well. Probably wasn't quite so jacked. Anyway... Rodney competed as early as 1992. He competed as a teen for years. But strangely enough, there was no footage of him. Very difficult to do some of these profiles. Not a whole lot of footage whatsoever. This is him in 1999. And it's the, the oldest confirmed picture that I could find. I'm sure the ones in the desert, he was even younger. But this is from 1999. And he competed as a amateur up until 2000 when he earned his pro card and like I said there's not a whole lot of footage this is Rodney at the 2003 night of champions he placed 10th also in 2003 he made his Mr. Olympia debut he placed 12th he actually competed quite a bit in 2003 this is him taking second place at that year's Grand Prix Hungary the Grand Prix Hungary this is probably his best Victory, I call it a victory. He defeated such superstars as this dude, Milo Sarsav. I believe Paul Delette was also on the uh, the chopping block that night. He did not look his best, that's for sure. Rodney took fifth at the 2003 Grand Prix Russia. And that's saying something considering the monsters that were competing that night, like Art Atwood. Look at the size of Art Atwood's peck. Wow. Uh, Big Ronnie won that event, Jay Cutler placed second, and Alexander Fedorov placed third. I made a video on Alexander Fedorov, check it out. Now they say this picture is from 2004 at the Hungarian Pro, he placed seventh, although facially he looks older here, he looks squeamish, perhaps a hard night at the uh, dancing, the male dancing club. He did not compete in 2005, but oh baby, oh darling, did he compete in 2006 eight times. That's how many. He began with this very fantastic version of him, but it did not place at the 2006 Iron Man. Competition must have been stiff. He did, however, place sixth at that year's Colorado Pro. He even defeated the likes of Gary Stridham. Phil Heath won that event. He placed 8th at the New York Pro. Not too shabby at all. He would take 12th place at the Europa Super Show. Rodney was everywhere in 2006. He even competed in the Mr. Olympia event. He did not place, though, sadly. And he did compete for one more year in 2007. He competed a couple of times for the, the French Night of Champions, or Le Night of Champions, hein? Le Francais, Le Francais, Le Ho 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 Ho, Le Poisson, Le Poisson, Le Poisson. And for those of you who do not realize, Poisson is f uh, fish in French, so these bodybuilders definitely eat a lot of Poisson. And that would be it for poor Rodney St. Cloud. He never, never did go on to win the Olympia title, like I'm sure a lot of these guys have in their mind. And hey, if I was built like this guy, I would very well think that I could walk up on the stage and win the Olympia title. But it's a genetic game, and only the cream, the cream do definitely do rise to the top. 
Hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. And if you did, hit that thumbs up button. Snap a subscribe button as well. Doesn't cost you a thing. Unless you already have, then don't hit it because it'll unsubscribe you. You don't want to do that. Have a great day, guys.